and suggesting the country could cause World War III. Basketball star Kobe Bryant has been killed in a helicopter crash. It happened this morning. Tributes pouring in for Pop Smoke this morning after being fatally shot in Los Angeles. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! Stop hey, touching no. niggas with Look your head! You, just a short while ago, Mayor de Blasio announced school is closed. Do not go to school tomorrow and at least for the next few months, the, ne uh, the next few weeks, in fact, for the next month. Thing in the way it decapitates its prey, this is the first time the world's largest hornet has been seen in the U.S. On June 8th, which is a week from Monday, the city is expected to be, to be allowed to move into phase one. That means more businesses will be allowed to open up. It's the first step on what has been a long road. Overnight, Minneapolis on fire. The protesters leaving an auto parts store in flames. These others seen looting a local target. Tonight was a different night of protesting. Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. An entanglement? Oh, what the fuck is going on inside? <sighs> what happened? What honestly happened? 2020 was shaping up to be the best year ever. And fucking Corona hit and everything that you've seen in the intro hit and it was, that was it. it 2020 just became officially the worst year to ever happen. And that's, that's a fucking fact, honestly, because I would have never thought any of this shit would happen fucking virus would hit that fucking up almost the, the whole economy and everything whatever the fuck not only that it fucked up many people lives personally it's like yo like i i i wouldn't even wish this on my worst enemy honestly <laughs> i would never wish this on my worst enemy because it's like yo this is this is the worst thing to deal with and it's so bad that i feel like this is this is where i reached an all-time low like i really felt like i hit the bottom i had so many things planned and i know for a fact i'm not the only one who had so many things planned everyone else had something that was about to go down something to, to improve on their life to advance their life and it got shut down because of this shit and it's like what the fuck are we dealing with fucking the damaging effects of thanos to snap back in 2018 they he fucking snapped and they fucking felt it instantly in their universe while we had to wait two years to feel it in our universe oh my god it is just awful when I'm, I'm thinking back to how it really fucked up my life. And like I said, not just mine, but it really fucked up everyone else's life. And it, it's it's sad. It's, it's truly sad. 2020 has damaged me so much. And it's taken from me. Taken so much from me. It's taken my graduation away. Graduation was something that I really wanted to cherish so much because I went through so much while I was in, in the high school that I was in. And I just really wanted to see myself you know walk across that stage get my diploma and you know see my friends cheering me on and shit you know and all that i wanted i wanted that i wanted the the, the, the traditional shit but it didn't happen instead what happened was corona comes through close the schools and i have to go collect my diploma like if it was a weekly check and i was so pissed off because i was like damn this is what my graduation has has came down to it's come down to just getting my fucking diploma and that's that that's fucking insane and i just i just wanted to shoot the whole school up just, just i just wanted to fucking valley because i couldn't believe it i really couldn't believe it like this is what my graduation has come to and it's not only me either a bunch of other people on graduation came to down to this just going to get their diploma and that's that and some people were cool with that i wasn't though because i dead ass worked hard as fuck for it just for me just to go collect it like you gotta be fucking joking me and for those who graduated in june y'all had a little bit of a you know a celebration because y'all did some people had the fucking graduation calls where you know they would get on facetime or whatever the case may be and they they would you know just basically shout out who got awards who got what and you know congratulations and call it a day right other people actually had like little parties around their neighborhoods and shit and i was jealous as fuck not so much about the calls because i got invited to that but i didn't want to join i i 
couldn't bring myself to do it honestly i i was still angry at the fact that this is how it ended and i was just like no i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not gonna join your call like no but the the fucking party shit the, the party around the neighborhoods and shit that shit i kind of got a little jealous over because i didn't get shit i got that diploma i came home my parents said good job get ready for college get ready for the next round like that's it. That's all I got. And I was pissed the fuck off because I know for a fact if my parents was there at the graduation, they would have said way more than that. But because I went to go get my diploma and to come back home with it, like if it was checked, they just said, good job, get ready for the next round. Like, I don't feel like going to college. If it gets to a point where I have to, then fuck it, I'm gonna I'm, I'm go. But I don't even know what I want to do yet. So that's why I'm just like, yo, y'all rushing me into college and I owe still don't know what the fuck I want to do with my life I don't know and but to bring it back to the party shit I really was so jealous because of that I was really jealous because they got something and I didn't get shit and I was just like all right that's 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 how we gonna do this so I'm just gonna do this and it was so painful to me because I like I, like I said like I really was hoping for that graduation to happen but it, it didn't and now now I'm here talking about it because I'm mad as fuck. Another thing 2020 has taken from me was job opportunities. And this was not so dramatic, but like, um, I I wanted to get a job so that I could possibly upgrade a couple of things on this channel. I wanted to do like a little, I wanted someone to draw or animate like a, a outro for me. And so that could be like the, the outro for the channel. I wanted um, a new art for my, um, profile picture on YouTube but you know without cash I can't I can't pay anybody to do that shit for me and it's not like I'm an artist I can't do that shit so shit I also wanted to to get that art of the new profile picture or whatever to be put on a hoodie or something or a tee now I'm obviously no one's gonna buy the fucking merch at the uh, the way shit is standing right now no one's gonna actually be like yo let me get that merch no one's gonna be like that I was just gonna get like maybe like three or four hoodies and keep one for myself and then give three hoodies to the other people that you know I know for a fact really fuck with the channel like heavy and and you know they would definitely rep it the hoodie outside or whatever the case may be but without like I said without money without a job I can't fucking do that shit and so many job opportunities have, has, has just been fucking X'd out fucking like like drake and his exes like it, it got x'd out and now i'm sitting here in these four walls can't do shit can't do nothing another thing 2020 has taken from me and i'm not gonna really spend too much time about this because like i have an idea for for a video for this for later on down the road but 2020 has taken my heart is 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 broken my heart, heart. And I say this because I was talking to this one girl and it seemed like something could happen, but it didn't happen. And I got pissed off and I want to break her face, but then she knows that won't happen because I still kind of, I don't know. <laughs> But I, I really felt like if it wasn't for 20, like if, if it was any other year, if it was 2021, if it was back in 2019, something would have happened between me and her. We don't see each other in person like that. And you know, because of lockdown, we can't. But if it was 2019, before the lockdown and everything, I felt like maybe something could have happened. Maybe, I don't know, but maybe. And you know, now I'm sitting here in this empty house, reminiscing on that shit. Will she watch this video? I don't fucking know. I don't know. But if she does, then yeah, that she knows. She knows the vibes. She definitely knows the vibes. I. That's how I feel. That's how I honestly feel. Like if it wasn't for 2020, shit would have been sweet. But 2020 happened and it fucked me in every category that you can imagine. I would say 2020 has taken my fucking sanity. Actually, no. Yes, it did take my sanity because. I started fucking drinking and I would have never thought that I would, I would be drinking. I would have never thought that I would be drinking at all. It was funny the way it happened. I won't say, I won't say much because I definitely story time video. You feel me? 
watch that when it comes out. But all I'm gonna say is I would have never thought I would have actually drunk ever in this time of quarantine. But then again, it's like, fuck it. Like I'm trying to drown my sorrows away. Like all of this shit happened. Not only do I got my mom's pressuring me about fucking college and shit, not only did my job opportunities get taken away, no, not only did my heart got taken away, fucking just, just everything got taken away, so why not drink my sorrows away with that? <laughs> and you know, that, that, that happened and I was just like, wow, like I would have never thought it would come down to this. I would have never thought it would come down to me drinking. Holy shit. Not only did 2020 take stuff for me personally but it's taking other people's lives one of my bros that i used to go to school with got killed and when i heard the news i was really like devastated because it's like yo i i went to school with, like, i literally went to school with this guy i remember how he was back in elementary and i and even after elementary i would see him around the hood and i would talk to him and shit and it's like wow like, what the fuck like i really pay respects to his family you know i i know they must be really devastated right now but it's like, damn, like, I, it's crazy. It wasn't, it wasn't Corona related. It was something else I imagine, but holy shit, man. Like it's, it's insane. The fact that I went to school with this guy and he, he's, he's dead now. He's, he's in up in heaven now. It's crazy. And not only him, um, someone else from my high school, I didn't know him too well, but I've seen him around in that high school. Even he, he died. Him and his girl died. And I was just like, yo, what is going on? Like, I'm telling you, man, like, 2020 is not the year for anything. It's not the year to, to figure out your fucking life. It's the it's the year to to make sure you survive. That's what this year has come down to. It is not, it's not, okay, let me figure out my life. Let me figure out what I'm gonna do. I can barely do that at the way the way shit is moving. I can barely do it myself. But for other people, I can imagine it's almost the same thing. Like they trying to figure out their life at the same time. All the shit that's been going on, they, they really can't fucking figure out what they want to do, what, what, what's the next step, they don't know. And on top of that, people dying and shit, it's insane, man. It's insane what 2020 has brought us. 2020 is truly the worst year I've ever been alive for. Like, it's really the worst. And I don't even know how to close off this video because it's, it's just this bad. It's just this bad in general. Like, 2020 is the worst year you could possibly think of and we will look literally five years ahead ten years ahead we will think back to this to this year and be like damn this year has taken everything from me and we will, we will never get that shit back we will never get that shit back that's that's the that's the hard part right there we we will never get anything that we we could have that could have happened this year it's not like we can ever get it back. Like, yes, we possibly, you know, in the future, we would probably be in a better, better position than we are now, all of us. But fuck, man, it, it, I'll, I, I know for a fact I'll be one of those guys that when I go back to thinking about 2020, I will really think back and realize, yo, 2020 has taken almost everything from me. And I'm still, to this day, kind of salty about it. Regardless, especially about graduation. I. I will keep that in my heart for as long as I live because I was really so hyped for it and then it just got canceled like that. So that's one thing I will never forgive. And then especially for my heart, I will never forgive that either. Fuck that. But anyways guys, yo, um, close off this video, man. I guess stay strong. Army strong. I, I don't know. I don't know how to really close this off this video. Like usually I close off my videos with positivity and then you know peace out y'all but this year has just been really hectic it's been something it's been it's been something we never would have expected and it's insane to me but i guess yeah like just stay strong keep your head focused yeah you know keep keep yourself focused man if you got an opportunity to do something you know job or whatever the case may be go for it and just like i said just, just keep at it man just keep at it because like this year is really the hardest year that you could keep focused on something but i guess look if you could really stay focused on whatever it is and all this shit is going on in the world more power to you son more power to you lord knows i kind of do and i kind of don't <laughs> so yeah um thank you guys for watching you know if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you ain't like the video give it a thumbs up and i'm out peace